Hey guys, it's Will, and today we are going. Well, I'm going to teach you how to do a back bend and a split. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, first you're gonna want to stretch, so you can just stretch your back. Okay, now you can just stretch your arms. Stretch your neck. You can stretch your arms this way. Then you need to stretch your feet. You need to stretch your hands. Stretch your feet a bit more. Stretch your feet the other way. Loads of different stretches. So, let's get into it. First, you're gonna want to find a wall or a or like some oil where you can just clasp and like start going down and uh, doing that. Yeah, like close to, to your bottom as you can. Just stretch. Okay, and then this is the background I'm trying to teach you guys. And then you to try to go more downwards. <coughs> and then more downwards. And then just like keep going down. Downwards, come back up. I don't want to hurt myself from that thing. Okay, and then again, downwards. I'm trying to go all the way down where you are. So yeah, try and go downwards, and then practice hovering. So like, like going down with like one hand off and one hand on it. So like this, basically. That's a bit dangerous. So like, I would only go to there. So like, you know what you're doing. But what you want to do is like hover, like I'll show you now. So like you're not gonna go where it is. You're gonna like it's hovering next to it, like this. Oh, because if you fall, you fall on here. So like hover, 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 and then go up, and then hover, 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 up, and go up. Keep going lower and lower, so it gives you more build-up process. And then you can like take a couple steps forward, and then try and go farther away from your fridge or wall. I'm using the fridge, <laughs> and then just go down. <laughs> but you have to. Be like, believe in yourself, or she can't do it. I don't, I can't get up from her back then yet. But you have to like, I would keep practicing and practicing going down, because then you like get used to it, and then you know how to do it. Like me, because you will fall a couple times. Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do a split now. <laughs> oh 
Sorry. I don't know if I show you how to do this split. Oh no, I can't do that on properly. Show you how to do the this split, that one. So first, you're gonna want to like stretch your legs a bit and all that. You're gonna like wanna push that one forward. But a really good stretch I recommend is the butterfly. Okay, uh, first you're gonna want to put one back forward and like point your tail because that's what you got to do. Point your tail and like put your other leg back. I will put something under, but point your toes and like just push yourself down. This is probably where you're at, rather here or here or like here. Like, this part is not touching the floor yet. If you practice every day, you will be able to touch the floor. And I will, I have proof. I'm not just like going like that. Um, I'll do it so you can see my back leg. Oh, can you see my back leg? There. Back leg. It's here. But if like you you progressively get down, so you practice like age for ages and you'll finally be able to do it. It's like practice makes you do it. Because practice makes perfection happen. Okay, bye guys. Wait before I go. I wanna do a spin out. So let me just turn on my heavy board. Ow, that hurt. It just hurt me. Ow. That's really rude for a hoverboard. Okay, bye guys.